Hey folks, Monster Man here, and sorry to jump right into the middle of this, but I really wanted to show you guys something for this episode. This is, uh, as what I have been calling it, the Tunnel of Love. Because, as you might have seen, I've put a lot of shit along this route, and it is going to make these monsters regret that they, that they were ever born. Because basically, all of these rooms, and even some of them that have been depowered, because I, I, I had to clear the route up to the, uh, the, uh, the exit. We're on floor six right now. I'm having a pretty good run of it. I have a level 12 Hikensha. I know you guys haven't met Hikensha yet, but basically, after the first three episodes, this game sort of consumed my life. I've played, like, 40-odd hours. It's a little ridiculous. And I have died many, 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 many times and not won a single run yet. And the reason for that is because I have learned things and apparently too easy is in fact just like regular easy mode. Whereas easy, the one that I have been stubbornly playing on because I refuse to suffer the indignity of actually playing on a difficulty called too easy, is equivalent to normal or even hard. So... Learning the ropes by doing that has been a little bit rough. But basically, um, uh, all of the heroes I have, I have unlocked through playing on this normal or hard setting. It's not really specific on which it is. Uh, so Hikensha here is one of those. You've you've seen Max before. He's one of the ones you start with. Uh, I just picked up Opbot on this floor, so I don't I haven't unlocked it yet, but I'm working on it. And essentially... I just really wanted to show you guys what it looks like when you finally have a really good floor that lets you set up the way you want, because all of these modules are Tesla coils, or, sorry, Tesla modules, uh, which do heavy electric damage, and these little doohickeys are Neurostun modules, which make monsters run slower. So this entire route is just a gamut of things that make them run slower, while the, the, while the zap turrets just pick them apart. And I wanted you guys to share this with me, because it looks to be, like, a special occasion. I'll turn that one off, because they're not going to go into that room. Um, so I'll turn this one back on. Just to get a little extra hurt. I'm not going to bother putting more turrets in this room, even though I could, because I am done this floor. I have all the resources I could possibly get from this floor, and there's no real value to it other than just me going hee 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 hee, like, like, like an evil little maniacal bastard, because it just looks like such fun. So... Join with me in this gleeful occasion as I pick up this crystal and we get to murdering things. You guys just go, just go have there. Uh, Hikensha, level 12, which is, took me a hell of a lot of food, by the way. So, things will start to pop pretty much right away. As you can see, they're, they're slowed down by entering the rooms, the lightning turrets start picking away at them. And I'd be very surprised if things made it all the way through to, to, to Hikensha. But even if they do, I have Hikensha sitting right there ready. And, of course, the exit is prepared just in case. We're not getting too cocky here. So we can zoom out into this mode. Not too many waves have gotten started yet, but it's also because I've split up the monsters. So not too many are able to spawn together. Which is another good way to keep them from getting to be too, too problematic. These two rooms here are probably going to be the ones that sink me because it's going to be hard to it's hard to stop them from 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 getting anywhere. Because this room doesn't have a neuro stun, it doesn't slow them down, but this one does. So it kind of helps measure it out a little bit. So as, as you can see, the bulk of these waves aren't even getting it like getting to that central room. The, the only monster is getting across the 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 original crystal chamber are the ones from these two rooms here because they start closer. There's just nothing else making it. Glorious. Like, it gets to the point where you have so many monsters dying in your trap that effectively your game starts to lag, which is not something that should happen. Oh, these guys are actually making rats. Come on, guys, don't spoil the fun. Of course, Hikensha's kind of a stone cold badass as well because she is wearing, like, heavy armor with a lightsaber, yada yada yada. But it looks like it's probably time to pull back, because the game is starting to freak out. Monsters are pouring through. Look at all of them. These guys are still having a hell of a time of it back here, though. They just can't make it through. Oh, it's fantastic. But I think it's time to go. So, uh, peace! Yeah. New recruit.
All right, so um, in order to actually unlock up, but I have to survive like two more floors. We're on floor seven. The odds of that happening, maybe not so good, but I am absolutely loving this game. It's it's just a stupid amount of fun. You, you, you get crazy highlights like that. I've played a few rounds of multiplayer with my friend Wilson, and it's a little weird because you have to split your resource growth, which is definitely strange, but it leads to some interesting situations. It can actually be a good thing at times, um, but we've had some pretty, pretty zany ideas because when you're playing Playing with another person, it encourages you to compromise. Like me, I'm I'm a bit of an industry fiend. I, I put down tons and tons of industry because I like turrets every which way, which is good in some ways, but it can sometimes leave your heroes underpowered or under-equipped, and that's not exactly good. So playing with my friend really helped me appreciate the value of science and food, and I think my, my turret lovingness has worn off on him a bit. But we've had a few situations where we've basically gotten a floor that has given us no dust. And in case you guys don't remember, that's the stuff you use to power your rooms. Um, we've gotten no dust. We've had like four or five doors open, no dust, everything's depowered, everything, there's no defenses anywhere, and we were just completely screwed. And, oops, and it, essentially it got, it got to the point where we, we've, we've devised the fail-safe strategy of just take the crystal and bolt, and that's assuming, of course, that you know where the exit is because it won't let you pick it up until you do, but we have had some very close-run victories where basically we have had to just grab the crystal and haul fucking ass to just get out of there, because it's... There there comes a point when there's just nothing else you can do, and there's just no other way to possibly scrape a win. Um, we ha had the idea once to just pick up the crystal and run, even though we didn't know where the exit was, and we didn't realize we couldn't do that, but we, would actually, we were actually gearing up to, to, to try it. That is how desperate we were. Just, just grab it and pray that it's nearby. And, I mean, it, it didn't let us, of course, but I, I, I still kind of wish that it had, because it would have been hilarious. Not really sure why it doesn't let you do that. I, I suppose the the idea is that if you could, then there's a there is at least some at least some of a chance that the um, uh, the um, elevator will be like right next to your base. It's happened a few times, and then you just walk out easy peasy, um, which I guess is fair enough. But uh, I, I'm gonna keep playing this game. I don't think there's anything that can stop me from playing this game at this point in time. Uh, it's just it's 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 tons of fun. It's like. It's basically... I had kind of read that it had tower defense elements when I first started it. Um, like, like, sorry, when I first picked the game up, and I kind of knew it. Um, and tower defense isn't really my go-to kind of game, because it, it gets kind of boring. But this fusion with, like, the roguelike stuff, where you manage your heroes, and they have levels, and, like, the, this, and, and, and the layout is always different, and, and like, and, 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 your, and your plans have to keep evolving and changing. Like, it really keeps it from getting stale, which is my biggest problem with most tower defense games. So, I, I don't know, like, I think this might be, like, at, at, at least for this particular genre mashup, this might be the perfect game for me. And that's just phenomenal. It's, 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 it's very rare that I find a game that I can say I love this game because I'm a picky son of a bitch. You know, I'm, I'm picky and I'm fickle and I forget the good points of games all too quickly when I get mad at them. This game, I, I have bashed my head into for like 40 plus hours. I have, like again, I have not won yet. I have not completed a single run of this game on, like, regular difficulty, on the regular pod, no modifications, no anything. I have, pl I have played like 80 runs, probably. Would not surprise me if it was 90. I have not won yet. There, 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 there has been great heaping mounds of bullshit heaped upon me, and I'm not mad. I'm still like, I want to try again. I want to try again. I want to try again. I'll just, do, I'll, I'll, I'll just do this different this time, or, 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 or that better that time. And it hasn't worn me down yet. And I think any game that it, that can make you, like, that can literally kill you and all of your heroes and crush your dreams multiple times and still leave you feeling like you want more is a damn fine game. So that's my two bits. Had to gush a little bit there at the end. But seriously, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the, seeing the Tunnel of Love and seeing me actually get excited about something for once because, that's trust me, it's rare. And, um, yeah. So, <laughs> thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great day. Uh, Monster Matt out. Okay, folks. So this is the same run. Just wanted to get you, give you guys, like, a, a, a post-credit post thing or whatever. I don't know. Um... Same run, 
had a really, really good eighth floor. Like, stupidly good. I have only three rooms unpowered, largely because I was able to set up a shop, uh, which teleports the merchant that you find to it. And if you man it, and I have a little little uh, mechanical friend here um, operating it for me, so I get plus one dust for every door I open, which that, combined with selling him things and just getting really lucky by finding dust, has led me to have a bounty of 250 dust. So I have most of the eighth floor powered. I have modules every which way. I have literally hundreds of resources. Uh, Hikensh is level 14 now, uh, Max and Opbot are 7 and 8 respectively, and there's just, like, look at this. Look at all of this. So, there are two rooms down here that aren't powered and one up there. I could turn that, like, I, I, I could literally make it three down here, but I, I, I wanted to get some use out of all the, uh, all the Tesla modules up here because I'm sadistic. So, just wanted to let you guys have a little extra, because that, uh, you know, my, my original episode was only like nine minutes long. So, I figured I'd give you guys a little bit extra, so let's have fun with this. We'll see what this looks like. And this, is, this, is, this isn't even with Hikensha getting involved, it shouldn't be necessary. Oh, that's right, this is the experimental room, I forgot. I, I, I put two Neuro Stuns in this room, just to see if they stacked. Apparently they do, because these guys are not moving that slow. Oh wow, I feel bad for those guys now. Not, not, not actually, but they're never going anywhere ever. Meanwhile, down in the lands of the damned. The realm of the damned. Hey, they got through okay. Yeah, because they're, um... I think the way that the, that the Tesla modules are set up is they prioritize monsters that, that would attack modules first. So like these bug looking things, yeah. So that the other monsters can sometimes sneak by. But with the sheer number of them on display here, I don't think it would matter too much. Yeah, like, like, like these bug dudes are, are gonna flap here and break those things because they feel like they have to. I don't really care at this point. I mean, the floor is done, we're, we're leaving, so it doesn't matter. Look at them crawling along though. Like, the, the room doesn't really have the DPS to really do anything to them. I mean, I mean, it's, it's picking them off, but it's just mostly just inconveniencing them. Because it's the, the, the Tesla modules are focusing all their fire on the bugs. Oh, my screen's getting janky. The number of them is getting too great. Oh, wow. How many waves is that, though? It's gotta be a lot. Oh, wow, they're a lot faster once they're actually out of out out from underneath the um, out from underneath the Nero stun. Jeez. And I could be cruel. I mean, I I, I have tons of industry. I, I if I wanted, I could slap down more stuff to test with them. But but again, there's really no value to doing so other than just laughing at them. Just endless endless things. Camera's going screw. Look at look, look at all these guys just getting blended through this. Wow. Not much has made it through here so far. There's, there, 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 there's been a few of those uh, of those hunter guys that run that ran through real fast, but by and large, no, nah, not really. And see, if I was being really mean, I would plant Hikensha in that uh, like like fork room, like right here. Because she has armor on now that, um, instead of drawing enemies to her, which is what the Armani suit did for her, um, she is now wearing something called the Zone Device, which gives her more defense even than the Armani, um, as well as better health regen, and uh, it also gets her Neuro Stun Light, which is an ability that slows monsters down when they're around her. So just by being near her, they'd go even slower. Of course, the problem with that though is she's melee, so she 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 walks up to them. If she was ranged, that would be the like the best thing ever, because then she would stay at a distance and pick them off. But with a little bit of micromanagement, you can kind of make it work. So I don't know how long this has been going exactly, but it looks like they're sort of unable to get to me. I mean, I'm sure eventually they'll 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 overwhelm it, but it's taking them a while. Like, I think they're actually kind of thinning out a bit. Now, there's a good chunk of them coming there, but uh, I don't know. These, these these waves are having issues. They're sending uh, two-way... Oh, there's... there's, there's, there's 
Um, you can see the number of waves launched um, at any given point down here. So they were sending ones and twos for a while. They're now, now they're back up to the threes and twos. Now ones and twos again. Uh, it, it seems kind of random. Like, I, I, I assumed that they would scale up, but maybe they don't. Like, I expected that, that there to be like like four waves, five waves, six waves. Just, just you know, the longer you're here, the worse it gets. But no, I mean, they're starting to break through, but this last room is just picking them up. It's just catching whoever gets through. Wow. I mean, this cost me a ridiculous amount of industry, so I, I guess I really shouldn't be surprised. In fact, I should probably be, be pleased, and I am, at how effectively spent my, my hard-earned money was. So I can't really complain. Not gonna complain at all. And I think we can just sit here. Like I'm, I'm almost cocky enough to like get up and go to the bathroom or something and come back, but not quite that cocky. Because this is floor eight. We're getting pretty near. Uh, hopefully near the end of the dungeon. I think it goes to like floor thirteen though. So who only knows? Uh, but yeah, wanted you guys to to enjoy the uh, fully implemented tunnel of love. Because this is about as good as, as it gets. I mean, aside from that room there, I guess. But that's like the glimmer of hope at the end of the tunnel. Like, oh, we're going to make it. And then you get to this room and it's like, nope. Just nope. Allow me to crush your dreams. Um, but yeah. So, again, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll uh, see you guys next time. Monster Matt out again.